So part of my work is to kind of engage schools in changing and innovating. So when a school says, hey, we're looking to make this change, we're hoping to do something different to benefit our students, my role is not to kind of come in and say, well, this is what you need to do, as much as it is to partner and ask great questions to understand how can we help you from where you are grow to the next level. I learned about the project. I knew that Mr. Cohen was excited about making some changes and about helping students become more engaged. Um, and so we started our conversation with that and really looked at the thread that students needed an opportunity to kind of pursue something that was deep and meaningful. And so that kind of was the thing that we ended up working on and using a combination of design thinking as a process for, for education and something he was using already in Metuchen, which was the, the problem solving loop. Mm -hmm. So we kind of combined those two ideas and developed the stream program. So design thinking is actually another problem solving tool that kind of started in the business world. So business folks were realizing, you know what, we have our, our business is to help our consumers. Our consumers are human beings. So instead of just improving things, we need to kind of understand who they are, those users, and be able to really create things to benefit them. So that idea was kind of evolved into education because we recognize that ultimately the role that our kids are going to have to play as they mature and become adults is developing, problem solving, creating. And, and so that was the idea, that in education we need to give them the tools and the experience of doing that. So design thinking has kind of transformed in education in that kids have these challenges that they have a chance to solve, create solutions, develop real things, and have the real world test it. And so that's kind of what we're doing here at Metuchen. Some of the most effective design process comes from giving a structure to people, or give a process for them to use, but then allow them to fill in the, 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 the details and the fun and the creativity themselves. So we decided on the six skills that we thought we should teach across the year, but then the teachers came up with the how, the teachers came up with the names, uh, the teachers came up with the scope and sequence, and they really had a lot of fun with it, and they were very creative, and they really owned it. What it inherently comes out when you're given an opportunity to learn this way, um, because I think human beings come into education naturally curious. If you think about a fifth, a, a five-year-old in a kindergarten class, they're excited to go to school, they want to learn. And I think this type of a program recaptures that natural learning and it's more authentic. That's the kind of type of learning we take into adulthood. It's not so much that you memorize a vocabulary list or you can solve an equation, but that you look into the world, you see a problem, and you think of a creative way to solve it, or you look at the world, you see a mystery, you're curious about it, and so you research it on your own. And if we can get kids hooked and let them know that they're, they are empowered to do that, I think we create curious adults and questioning adults, and I think ultimately those teenagers and children turn into the kinds of citizens I would want to be in my society. I've seen attitudes change. Uh, in the, since the beginning of STREAM. Um, many children were coming in saying, I can't. But now children are saying, I'm going to try. I can. They're saying, we're going to brainstorm. They're saying, there's team in STREAM. I is not alone in STREAM. It doesn't exist. Um, and the kids are trying very hard to persevere, be persistent, and try it again. I, I love the program because it allows kids to really be children and get their hands in it, you know, and do it. Instead of just always list, sitting there at a desk listening to a teacher. I think one of the biggest and greatest changes in the children from the STREAM program is their willingness to keep trying, to not give up, to persevere, to think about challenges in different ways. Um, they're really excited, and it's, it's almost amazing. It amazes me at times how they don't want to give up. They want to keep trying it, and they're really up for the challenge, and they talk about trying it at home and different things like that. So I think that willingness to persevere is, is one of the greatest changes I've seen. Uh, and now we've seen some of those students in the entering first and entering second grade classrooms uh, just dive right in, uh, be really excited about the, the design challenge or the project that they're working on and be really proud to show uh, guests as they come in or others 
that ask about their work uh, to tell in great detail what they're working on, what they've done, and how proud they are of, of their work. So that's been a real uh, pleasant surprise. Um, and um, you know, that's the type of engagement that really leads to uh, long-term learning.